Hi, I'm Corey Rich, Nikon Ambassador. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pair the Nikon Key Mission 360 with your Android device. We'll take a tour of the SnapBridge 360-170 app, and I'll also explain what you need to know about both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. I'll also show you how to shoot and control the Key Mission 360 remotely from your device. Remember, this video is specifically for Android users. The very first time you turn on your Key Mission 360, the two green status lights on the top of the camera will start flashing. This indicates the camera is in standby pairing mode. First, make sure the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi are enabled on your device. Simply go to your device settings, click on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and make sure they're both on. Now open up the SnapBridge 360 app. You'll be prompted to select your camera on a list. Select the camera, and the pairing process will begin via Bluetooth. Once the camera and your device are paired, you'll be taken to the Connect screen on the app. Notice at the top of the screen, there's a Bluetooth icon. This indicates that your device is paired. There's also a battery symbol here, which indicates the battery state of charge in the camera. Below, we can see three other settings on the Connect screen. Auto download allows you to choose to have all still images sent automatically to your phone or device. When you enable auto download, you can also choose to save the images as two megapixel files. Upload location embeds GPS data gathered from your device within files taken with your key mission camera. Likewise, synchronize clock automatically sets the camera's clock to your phone's clock. This is great if you're shooting in different time zones and want to automatically keep your file's metadata accurate. Notice at the top of your app screen, there are four tabs, Connect, Gallery, Camera, and Other. We just explored Connect. Now let's check out Gallery. Under the Gallery tab, you can view your latest downloads. I haven't downloaded any 360 content yet, which is why we see this blank screen with some instructions. When you transfer files from the Key Mission camera to your phone, they are filed under a newly created album called SnapBridge. The Camera tab is the powerhouse of the SnapBridge 360-170 app. This is where you'll be able to control your camera, change its settings, and download stills and video that you've shot onto your smart device. Remote photography allows you to see a real-time view of what your camera is seeing. You can also shoot stills and record video directly from this camera interface. Download selected pictures also allows you to choose still or video files recorded to your camera's micro SD card and download them directly onto your smart device. These photos and videos will be stored in the internal library of your device. Camera settings has a whole host of settings to play with. Date and time, brightness of your LEDs on the camera, the sound your camera makes, and image settings where you can change resolution for both stills and video, white balance, and exposure compensation. Finally, if you want to pair a Nikon ML-L6 accessory remote control to your camera, you can do that under Remote Options. The Nikon ML-L6 is available separately. The other tab gives you a few more options. You can automatically add credits to pictures downloaded to your device, you can sign into your Nikon ID and also find more information about this app as well as other updates from Nikon. The SnapBridge 360-170 app uses both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to communicate with the Key Mission camera. Bluetooth provides a constant communication between the camera and the phone. Wi-Fi is needed to use the remote photography function and to download videos. Why Wi-Fi? These operations are simply more data intensive and they need a more powerful signal, which is only possible through Wi-Fi connected between the camera and your device. To conserve battery power, the camera will automatically select between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth depending on the function being used. Let's go back to the camera tab and dive into how to operate the key mission camera using the remote photography live view screen. When I click on remote photography for the first time, my device may ask me if I would like to connect to Wi-Fi. If it does, press yes or okay. Sometimes this might take a few seconds. Okay, now I'm on the live view screen. 
On Android devices, the SnapBridge app will automatically make the switch from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi when you go to use remote photography or download videos. This live view is a low resolution view of what the camera is viewing. It's not indicative of the camera's video quality. Basically, I see on my screen everything that the camera sees. On the bottom left, I can shoot stills. The red button in the center allows me to start and stop recording 360 video. And at the bottom on the right is a shortcut to my camera's settings. If I shoot a still, there's a history bar beneath the screen where I can view all of my recently shot images. Once you have these settings installed and you get familiar with using the SnapBridge 360 170 app, it all gets a lot easier. It's useful to know how to stop pairing your device and your key mission camera, as well as how to repair, in other words, how to reconnect the two. To end pairing, navigate to the Connect screen. Click on the center Bluetooth icon, choose End Pairing, click Yes. Now, go to the device's main settings. Choose the Bluetooth menu and select the gear icon to the right. Now choose Forget Device. Now you've ended the pairing between your device and the camera. To pair your device to the camera again, you need to set the camera back into pairing standby mode. Press and hold the video record button for roughly seven seconds until you see two blinking green lights. Soon the lights will be alternating. The camera is now ready to be paired with your device.